All new at six, you know, you put a lot of trust in your delivery drivers to make sure the food that you're ordering gets to you safe and sound. Yeah, you don't want to just be tasty. You want it to be safe. So now state lawmakers are going to consider a bill that would standardize food delivery service in Georgia with companies like DoorDash and of course Uber Eats. 11 Alive's Doug Richards looks at what it could do and why. This is a bill that could take some of the rough edges off of the love-hate relationship between restaurants and tech-driven food delivery apps. But I don't know of any restaurant that, that is stoked about working with third-party delivery services. Bell Street Burritos did a brisk Friday noontime business with familiar delivery apps. The meal exits the restaurant in the hands of a driver and disappears. And then, you know, 30 minutes later, we get a call from the customer saying that their chips and salsa is missing. Matt Hinton uh, says that happens just of often enough to sour the relationship with tech-driven delivery services. And it wouldn't surprise me if that delivery driver had some crumbs in his, in his beard. A bill in the state Senate could give restaurants more control. It would require the food delivery service to enter into a contract with the restaurant, which is not required now require the delivery service to get permission first to use a restaurant name or logo in its marketing, also not required now. It would require clean food holding areas and vehicles with food packed to maintain the food's temperature in tamper-resistant packaging with no smoking, vaping, or animals, except service animals, allowed in a delivery vehicle. We hope uh, that it will provide um, protection to our restaurants of their intellectual property. We also have deep, deep concerns about the lack of, of food safety um, that these third-party delivery companies do not exercise. The legislature has been eyeing this issue for nearly a year. The bill that dropped this week has support from both Democrats and Republicans. In Northwest Atlanta, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Well,